Way Home or Face the Fire by Ja, the survival plan for all human plus beings. Chapter 6 Abraham, Lot, Sodom, and Gomorrah. Noah's descendants fell once again into the same old trap that had them kicked out of heaven in the first place, that is, listening to and being deceived by the devil's lies, and because of it, they gradually became more and more evil again. Eventually, God singled out Abraham for special training because he loved God and always strove to do his will, and was sickened by the idolatry and evil way of life of his nation. Genesis chapter 12 verse 1, Surah 43, 26. Genesis chapter 12 verse 1. Now the I Am had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. Surah 43.26 Behold, Abraham said to his dad and his people, I do indeed clear myself of what ye worship. God told Abraham to leave his people, so he did, and he renounced his nationality and his people's religion, idolatry, and superstitions, and he became an adopted child of God and a true believer. He separated himself completely from them to live apart with God, doing God's will, and learning to be good. Lot, whose dad was dead, was Abraham's nephew, and was also a believer, went with Abraham. They took their households, animals, and belongings, left Ur, and crossed over the great river Euphrates, which was to them symbolically as the flood was to Noah. Joshua chapter 24. And Joshua gathered all the tribes of Israel to Shechem, and called for the elders of Israel, and for their heads, and for their judges, and for their officers, and they presented themselves before God. And Joshua said unto all the people, Thus saith the I Am, God of Israel, Your fathers dwelt on the other side of the flood in old time, even Terah, the father of Abraham, and the father of Necker, and they served other gods. And I took your father Abraham from the other side of the flood, and led him through all the land of Canaan, and multiplied his seed, and gave him Isaac. And I gave unto Isaac Jacob and Esau, and I gave unto Esau Mount Seir, to possess it, but Jacob and his children went down into Egypt. I sent Moses also and Aaron, and I plagued Egypt, according to that which I did among them. And afterward I brought you out. And I brought your fathers out of Egypt, and ye came unto the sea. And the Egyptians pursued after your fathers with chariots and horsemen into the Red Sea. And when they cried unto the I Am, he put darkness between you and the Egyptians, and brought the sea upon them and covered them. And your eyes have seen what I have done in Egypt, and ye dwelt in the wilderness for a long season. And I brought you into the land of Amorites, which dwelt on the other side of Jordan, and they fought with you. And I gave them into your hand, that ye might possess their land, and I destroyed them from before you. Then Balak the son of Zippor, king of Moab, arose and warred against Israel, and sent and called Balaam the son of Beor to curse you. But I would not hearken unto Balaam, Therefore he blessed you still, so I delivered you out of his hand. And ye went over to Jordan, and came unto Jericho. And the men of Jericho fought against you, the Amorites, and the Perizzites, and the Canaanites, and the Hittites, and the Girgashites, and the Hevites, and the Jebusites. And I delivered them into your hand. And I sent the hornet before you, which drave them out before you, even the two kings of Amorites, but not with your sword, nor with your bow. And I gave you a land for which ye did not labor, and cities which ye did not build. And ye dwell in them of the vineyards and oil yards which ye planted, not do you eat. Now therefore fear the I Am, and serve him in sincerity and in truth, and put away the gods which your father served on the other side of the flood, and in Egypt, and serve the I Am. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the I Am, choose you this day whom ye will serve whether the gods which your fathers served, that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites, in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the I Am. And the people answered and said, God forbid that we should forsake the I Am, to serve other gods. For the I Am, our God, he it is, that brought us up, and our fathers, out of the land of Egypt, from the house of servitude, and which did those great signs in our sight and preserved us in all the way wherein we went, and among all the people through whom we passed. And the I Am drave out from before us all the people, even the Amorites which dwelt in the land. 
Therefore we will also serve the I Am, for he is our God. And Joshua said unto the people, Ye cannot serve the I Am, for he is a holy God. He is a jealous God. He will not forgive your transgressions nor your sins. If ye forsake the I Am and serve strange gods, he will turn and do you hurt and consume you. After that he hath done you good. And the people said unto Joshua, Nay, but we will serve the I Am. And Joshua said unto the people, Ye are witnesses against yourselves, that ye have chosen you, the I Am, to serve him. And they said, We are witnesses. Now therefore put away, he said, the strange gods which are among you, and incline your heart unto the I Am, God of Israel. And the people said unto Joshua, The I Am, our God, will we serve, and his voice will we obey. So Joshua made a covenant with the people of that day, and set them a statute and an ordinance in Shechem. And Joshua wrote these words in the book of the law of God, and took a great stone, and set it up there under an oak, that was by the sanctuary of the I Am. And Joshua said unto the people, Behold, the stone shall be a witness unto us, for it hath heard all the words of the I Am which he spoke unto us. It shall therefore be a witness unto you, lest you deny your God. So Joshua let the people depart, every man unto his inheritance. And it came to pass after these things, that Joshua the son of Nun, the servant of the I Am, died, being a hundred and ten years old. And they buried him in the border of his inheritance, in Timnathsara, which is in Mount Ephraim, on the north side of the hill of Gaash. And Israel served the I Am all the days of Joshua, and all the days of the elders that overlived Joshua and which had known all the works of the I Am that he had done for Israel. And the bones of Joseph, which the children of Israel brought up out of Egypt, buried they in Shechem, in a parcel of ground that Jacob bought of the sons of Hamor, the father of Shechem, for a hundred pieces of silver, and it became an inheritance of the children of Joseph. And Eleazar the son of Aaron died, and they buried him in the hill, that pertained to Phineas his son, which was given unto him in Mount Ephraim. Ja. After living between Bethel and Hai for some time, Lot's and Abraham's cattle herdsmen began to quarrel because there was not enough room for both of their herds to graze. Abraham and Lot decided to separate so that they would not be drawn into fighting each other because they had great respect and love for each other, being brothers in their respect and love for God, and Abraham's body being the uncle of Lot's body. Lot went to the plains where the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah were built, and Abraham went to Canaan. Later on, God told Abraham that he would make an agreement, covenant, contract with him and his family, and that, as a sign of this agreement, all males of his household should be circumcised from eight days old, signed in blood and symbolizing sacrifice of the flesh. God did this because the world had become evil again, and Abraham's household was surrounded by perverted and depraved peoples who were enslaved by fornication, so God decided to help them resist temptation. The circumcising would help to achieve this by making the sex organ less sensitive to try to reduce their sex drive and hopefully help to push them towards a better understanding of spiritual love. Circumcision itself is of no great importance. It is the faith and love that are important. Galatians 5.6 for in Jesus Christ neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but faith which worketh by love. The cities of Sodom and Gomorrah were totally out of control, so God decided to destroy them completely, souls and all. Sodom, as the name indicates, was full of sodomites, homosexuals, committing the abominable crime of sodomy, and Gomorrah was full of perversion and promiscuity. Genesis 19, 1-29 And there came two angels to Sodom at eventide, and Lot sat at the gate of Sodom, and Lot, seeing them, rose up to meet them, and he bowed himself with his face towards the ground. And he said, Behold now, my lords, turn in, I pray you, into your servant's house, and tarry all night, and wash your feet, and ye shall rise up early, and go on your ways. And they said, Nay, but we will abide out in the street all night. And he pressed upon them greatly, and they turned in unto him, and entered into his house. And he made them a feast, and he did bake unleavened bread, and they did eat. But before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, compassed the house round, both old and young, 
all the people from every quarter. And they called unto Lot, and said unto him, Where are the men which came in to thee this night? Bring them out unto us, that we may know them carnally. And Lot went out to the door unto them, and shut the door after him, and said, I pray you, brethren, do not so wickedly. Behold now, I have two daughters, which have not known man. Let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you, and do you to them as is good in your eyes. Only unto these men do nothing. For therefore came they under the shadow of my roof. And they said, Stand back. And they said again, This one fellow came in to sojourn, and he will needs be a judge. Now will we deal worse with thee than with them. And they pressed sore upon the man, even Lot, and came near to break the door. But the men put forth their hands, and pulled Lot into the house to them, and shut to the door. And they smote the men that were at the door of the house with blindness, both small and great, so that they wearied themselves to find the door. And the men said unto Lot, Hast thou here any besides, son-in-law, thy sons, thy daughters, and whatsoever thou hast in the city, bring them out of this place? For we will destroy this place, because the cry of them is waxing great before the face of the I Am, and the I Am hath sent us to destroy it. And Lot went out, and spoke unto his sons-in-law, which married his daughters, and said, Get up out of this place, for the I Am will destroy the city. But he seemed as one that mocked unto his sons-in-law. And when the morning arose, then the angels hastened Lot, saying, Arise, take thy wife and thy daughters, which are here, lest thou be consumed in the inequity of the city. And while he lingered, the men laid hold upon his hand, and upon the hand of his wife, and upon the hand of the two daughters, and the I am being merciful unto him. And they brought him forth, and set him outside the city. And it came to pass, when they had brought them forth abroad, that he said, Escape for thy life. Look not behind thee, neither stay thou in all the plain. Escape to the mountain, lest thou be consumed. And Lot said unto them, O not so, my lord, behold now, Thy servant hath found grace in thy sight, and thou hast magnified thy mercy, which thou hast shown unto me in saving my life. And I cannot escape to the mountains, lest some evil take me, and I die. Behold now, this city is near to flee unto, and it is a little one. Oh, let me escape there. Is it not a little one? My soul shall live. And they said unto him, See, I have accepted thee concerning this thing also, that I will not overthrow this city for the which thou hast spoken. Haste thee, escape there, for I cannot do anything till thou become there. Therefore the name of the city was called Zoar. The sun was risen upon the earth when Lot entered into Zoar. Then the I Am rained upon Sodom and Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the I Am out of heaven. And he overthrew those cities, and all the plain, and all the inhabitants of the cities, that which grew upon the ground. But his wife looked back from behind him, and she became a pillar of salt. And Abraham got up early in the morning to the place where he stood before the I Am. And he looked toward Sodom and Gomorrah, and toward all the land of the plain, and beheld, and lo, the smoke of the country went up as smoke of a furnace. And it came to pass, when God destroyed the cities of the plain, that God remembered Abraham, and sent Lot out of the midst of the overthrow, when he overthrew the cities in which Lot dwelt. Surah 7, 80-81 We also sent Lot, he said to his people, Do you commit lewdness, such as no people in creation ever committed before you? For ye practice your lusts on men in preference to women. Ye are indeed a people of transgression beyond bounds. Surah 15, 61-77 At length, when the messengers arrived among the adherents of Lot, he said, You appear to be extraordinary folk. They said, Yea, we have come to thee to accomplish that which they doubt. We have brought to thee that which is inevitably due, and assuredly we tell the truth. Then travel by night with thy household, when a portion of the night yet remains, and do thou bring up the rear. Let no one amongst you look back, but pass on where ye are ordered. And we made known this decree to him, that the last remains of those sinners should be cut off by the morning. The inhabitants of the city came in mad joy at the news of the young men. Lot said, These are my guests, do not disgrace me, but fear God, and shame me not. They said, Did we not forbid thee to speak for all and sundry? He said, 
there are my daughters to marry, if you must act so. Verily, by thy life, O prophet, in their wild intoxication, they wander in distraction, to and fro. But the mighty blast overtook them before morning. And we turned the cities upside down, and rained down on them brimstone hard as baked clay. Behold, in this are signs for those who by signs do understand. And the cities were right on the high road. Behold, and this is a sign for those who believe. Lot lived in the outskirts of Sodom, but he was not a Sodomite homosexual. So the Lord sent two angels in the appearance of handsome young men to save him and his family. The angels came and communicated with Lot by telepathy, and Lot, not wanting them to be troubled by the Sodomites, homosexuals, rushed them into his house. And the angels said that they would stay in the street all night. Being angels, they did not need sleep, and they knew that the Sodomites slash homosexuals could do them no harm. However, Lot insisted, so the angels stayed inside and accepted his kind hospitality. The queers had seen the angels, and they came to Lot's house and surrounded it, demanding that Lot should bring the handsome young men out so that the queers could force them to submit to being sodomized, raped. Lot went out to plead with the queers to go away and to take women instead, and not to embarrass and shame him in front of his guests. He closed the door behind himself to protect the angels from the queers slash sodomites. The queers became angry with Lot because he was not one of them and was not a local either, and they threatened to do worse to Lot than to the strangers, angels. On hearing this, the angels dragged Lot back inside and struck the queers blind so that they wandered around lost and could not find the door to Lot's house. In the morning, the two angels pulled Lot his wife and two daughters out of the house, telling them to leave and not look back, because they were going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. The angels then destroyed the two cities with a terrible blast of fire, and it so totally annihilated them that to this day, although it is known roughly where they were situated, absolutely no trace of them has ever been found. Genesis 19.24, Surah 15.76-77. Genesis 19.24, then the I am rained upon Sodom and Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the I am out of heaven. Surah fifteen seventy six to seventy seven. And the cities were right on the high road. Behold, in this a sign for those who believe. The blast was far more efficient than any crude nuclear weapon, and destroyed not only the cities and everything in them, but also the bodies and the souls of the inhabitants. Lot's wife looked back, and because the eyes are the windows of the soul, the blast, fire, entered through her eyes, destroying her soul and turning her into a pillar of salt. Luke chapter 11 verse 34. The light of the body is the eye. Therefore, when thine eye is single, thy body also is full of light. But when thine eye is evil, the body also is full of darkness. Since then, for thousands of years, sodomy, homosexuality, has always been unlawful. Deuteronomy 23.17 there shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite, homosexual, of the sons of Israel. Cross-reference Leviticus 20.13 If a man also lie with mankind, as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood, the blame, shall be upon them. Since then, for thousands of years, sodomy slash homosexuality has always been unlawful. Deuteronomy 23.17, carrying the death penalty, Leviticus 20.13. If a man also lie with mankind, as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood, the blame, shall be upon them. Since then, for thousands of years, sodomy slash homosexuality has always been unlawful. Deuteronomy 23.17, carrying the death penalty, Leviticus 2013, and also regarded as immoral until the last generation, when man had the audacity to not only make it legal, but has also tried to make it acceptable, if not compulsory, and now it is also rapidly becoming illegal to be a man. It is very sad that after working so hard to become a man over thousands of years and finally making it, that they then find out that it is much harder to be a man and they try to go backwards and they are readily accepted and welcomed back by women. A queer is a relatively new man who decides that being a man is too difficult, so 
decides to try to be a woman in a man's body. Some even go to the extent of having themselves surgically castrated voluntarily, Deuteronomy 23.1, and they will be punished accordingly. Deuteronomy 23.1, He that is wounded in the stones, or hath his privy member cut off, shall not enter into the congregation of the I Am. You cannot go backwards. You are all under the shadow of the death sentence. Your only escape is forward. John 3.18 he that believeth him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the identity of the only incarnated Son of God. It was easy to destroy the queers, sodomites, homosexuals in Sodom, because they were all concentrated in one place, and God could easily remove Lot and his family, and then destroy Sodom without hurting any innocent people. Today, it is so widespread and intermixed with quote, normal society that God cannot blast just them without hurting too many innocent, question mark, people. So he has sent AIDS, Leviticus 20.13, Romans 1.27. Leviticus 20.13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. And likewise, also the man, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one towards another, men with men working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet, AIDS. Open your eyes and see the signs, and turn around before it's too late. Unfortunately, AIDS has also attacked other non-believers too, and once it has attacked enough innocent question mark people, Perhaps man will revert to making homosexuality slash sodomy illegal again and live by God's laws and not his own unlawful ones. Gomorrah was destroyed because of its promiscuity, perversion, and sexual exhibitionism and because it was controlled by sexual instead of love values. It's very sad that people don't know the difference between sex and love. One million tons of sex will never equal one ounce or gram of love. Unfortunately, millions of people spend lifetimes looking for love and, because they don't know the difference, they mistakenly find sex. When they don't get the spiritual satisfaction that they are seeking, they try harder and mistakenly think that if they get enough sex, it will bring them spiritual, real satisfaction, and it will not. It is a vicious circle. There are three kinds of sex. 1. Sex, pure animal lust. 2. Sex with feeling and three, love. No amount of the first two combined will ever equal the third. How can anyone expect to find love when they are looking in all the wrong places? Look up, not down. How can you expect to see what is above when you are always looking downwards? Love is spiritual, and sex is animal. When the soul controls the animal, uses it for the benefit of another in true love, and giving instead of taking, the act of making love becomes the nearest thing to heaven on earth. The loving of two spirits, both in control of their animal bodies, and being totally unselfish, wanting only to give pleasure and love to their partner, asking nothing in return, uniting both bodies and souls as much as possible within human limitations, is the most heavenly experience possible on earth, and is, quote, out of this world. Gomorrah was destroyed at the same time as Sodom with a weapon so sophisticated that it is beyond human comprehension and is nothing like silly crude human weapons, including nuclear weapons. The weapons on earth are crude children's toys that go bang and can kill human animals. The ability to destroy a planet nuclear weapons is insignificant compared to the power of the force. God does not need crude nuclear weapons. If he just thinks it, everyone is dead. Who do you think decides when a person's body will die, and then makes it happen? You need not be terrified by nuclear weapons, because they cannot kill your soul, which is the real you. Once you have 100% faith in God, you will fear nothing and no one. Do not be afraid of those who can kill your body. Fear only those who can kill your body and soul, the real you, with the fire. Matthew 10.28 And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hellfire. In other words, do not fear humans, or human death, or the devil. 
Fear only that you may be found unworthy on the last day, and that your soul will be killed in the fire by God and the Lamb, Prince Michael, Christ. God could not make sex unlawful only fornication because of the need for human reproduction and because he wanted man and woman to become one and help each other to create a stable, loving relationship and family unit into which children could be born. The children could then grow up in love-filled and harmonious surroundings with a balanced outlook on life, having a solid foundation on which to build in their adult life. Having been taught already the values of love, God, instead of values of this world, mammon, by their parents' example, in both words and deeds, they could then go out into the world with a balanced mentality and teach their own children from their own experience and perpetuate the process. Knowing that promiscuity would lead to all kinds of problems and animal instead of spiritual values, God destroyed Gomorrah and left the story of its destruction as a deterrent to future generations. He also left a legacy to remind the world to be faithful and to keep his laws. The legacy to keep people on the right path was called gonorrhea, gomorrhea. Promiscuity became more widespread and so did gonorrhea and God has sent progressively stronger warnings to try to keep people on the straight and narrow path. Syphilis, nonspecific urethritis, Vietnam rose, and now herpes. He cannot blast the promiscuous now without hurting innocent people, and, in any case, the last day is so close now that he doesn't need to bother. Herpes is now turning many people away from promiscuity, as it was intended to do, and AIDS even more so. Doctors and pharmacists will try to find cures that will help people to keep on being promiscuous, thereby helping Satan instead of God. The Mound of Venus, leading to the sacred temple of love, which must not be desecrated and or defiled by strangers. Venereal disease sent by Venus. Open your eyes. 100% female equals half lady, perfect wife and mom. 100% male equals half gentleman, perfect husband and dad, the perfect one. Truth and honor in thought, word, and deed. Death, human, before dishonor of the soul.